So um, on the 2nd of March, you are due to play in a concert yeah. um, in Greenwich. Um, can you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, yeah, it's um, a one-hour programme, um, so there won't be a break, so it's going to be quite intense. But you know, that, there'll be a little time in between the pieces where well, I'll sort of talk about what I'm going to play next. Um, and uh, it's, it's going to be quite a few different composers. We're going to start with going from Prokofiev, um, Scarlatti, uh, Bach, Bersoni, so basically Bach wrote, wrote this uh, organ music and this guy Bersoni came along uh, a couple of centuries later and said this music is amazing, let's, let's, let's uh, write it for piano. Um, and uh, some of our, and then finally some lists, so quite a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Fantastic, and um, amongst all that do you have any favourites? Um, on yeah, well, favorites in different levels. I mean, like the list is is probably the most exciting, but um, it's also my least favorite because it's just to learn. It's just absolutely killing me. So I've actually got it on the <laughs> on the stand right now. Um, and uh, the the Bach Bassoni in, in another sort of um, what do you call it? Another um, category is um, could be considered to be my favorite because it's just the most sort of it, it puts you in a different state more than the other pieces do. You know, it really transports you. If you know, um, if you can really get into it, then you kind of you find yourself almost in a sort of trance-like kind of state. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're all great. Uh, the the Prokofiev is really fun to play. Uh, it's really angular and it's quite angry music, but also it's it, it's it's strange. It's the only sort of composer I can describe as being quite sarcastic and witty at times. You know, kind of. It's almost sort of making fun of music, but at the same time being really, really sincere about it as well. So it's hard to work out. But can you give Can you give us some examples of that? Uh, yeah. Well, at the end of the Prokofiev, um, I mean, it's a really serious piece. So I like the opening. Uh, <laughs> He takes this kind of really, it's the same kind of rhythm, but he's also sort of having fun. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it goes from really serious and really dark to just like, you know, not a care in the world kind of thing, but then, but then switches back and forth really, really quickly. So, yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit nuts, but it's great fun to play. And um, what about the other pieces? Can you show us some examples of those? Uh, yeah, so the uh, the Bach Pisoni is um, is very um, very religious work, and uh, the title I think translates to something about um, um, you know waiting for the saviour of heathens to come. So I'm not really sure how I feel about the title, but the piece itself is really really good. Um, says that that sort of tone kind of um, carries on throughout the entire piece with this bass line sort of never stopping and it just kind of carries on but yeah so you can see how it kind of sort of transports you into this sort of half awake half asleep kind of state and uh, yeah and the list is just crazy I mean <clears throat> it's for example okay um, let's have a look I mean at, at least in the middle he gives you a bit of time off but then he kind of goes back into it so
<laughs> is that the hardest bit? Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, mean, I don't know how he expects you to sort of do all the jumps on the right hands. So you have to look at what's going on over there. But the left hand is also jumping around all over the place too, so... So technically it's demanding. I mean, all these jumps here. And the left hand has to jump down here somewhere. And, it's, and I don't have time to look at it, so I have to just practice it over and over again until my muscles just jump to the right place. So basically, so your body kind of learns it? Uh, yeah, so I can focus on the right hand and the left hand can just kind of play itself. Okay, so technically that's the most demanding yeah, yeah, part. Absolutely. Yeah, and what about uh, um, atmospherically? Uh, yeah, probably the bar because um, you've got to stay, you've got to kind of keep, stay in the states, and everything has to be completely smooth and there's no bumps, and everything's really exposed as well because there's not that many notes. So every single note has to be placed. Um, and there's all these lines going on, you know, there's lots of voices. There's the top voice going on the time. Um, to kind of keep all the voices going and making sure they all make sense but without um, losing the top that's really the sort of you know the soloist but um, yeah because it's so slow and because it's so exposed the amount of thought that needs to go into every single note is quite a lot whereas in the list I mean you can't really there's too many notes and it doesn't really matter you know they kind of they're, they're, they're one part, you know. You have to think about every single one of them. You know, you just. You just kind of go for it, yeah. And um, so, out of the repertoire, are there any other pieces that you haven't um, talked about? or In the program? Yeah, in the program. Uh, yeah, there's um, a piece that I haven't learnt yet uh, by Scarlatti. Um, which is kind of similar to the Bart Bassoni, it's got all these lines. by Ravel, which is, yeah, a um, very different harmonic world, if you just start. instrument handles this very differently and so some this piano is actually quite easy to do it on if you put the soft pedal down you can hear them all but on some grand pianos with a heavier action it's 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 impossible so you're really at the mercy of the instrument with this piece which is kind of annoying and um, then yeah after that there's a very sort of um, atmospheric piece that kind of contrasts directly Gives you time to 
time to sort of chill out before uh, I play this, this list. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so how do you feel overall um, about the, your upcoming performance? Uh, well, I've got a lot of work to do in the next two weeks, but uh, I think if I really... <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, the whole idea of motivation. You've got a constant kind of face and it's going to push you to work. So as long as I get a lot of practice in, then even this list should be okay. So, yeah. No, I'm feeling okay. I just, uh, I just know that I've got to work pretty hard. Excellent. So hopefully I will be there and I'll be able to film it yep. and um, show people who are interested. Okay, many thanks for your time and for your very insightful answers and good luck for the seconds. Thank you much. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>